All right, hello, welcome. Hopefully everything is sounding good. Sorry it took me so long to get started officially. I was uh, busy sending out all the links and notifications like we tend to do. Okay, cool. I hope you guys like those chill lo-fi jams. Something that I've been working on lately. So hopefully it goes through properly. Um, let's see. Just gonna make sure this is all good to go before we really dive into this playthrough continuation of Elex. Elix. Is that how you say it? I don't know. I'm still not sure. We're three sessions in already. Well, two. Two, starting our third session. I'm still not sure how to pronounce this game's title. Here's our lovely warrior adventure, though. I don't recall his name. I like to call him Cole, because he reminds me of Cole from the first two infamous games. And those are fun. Those are a good time. They are nothing but trouble. I should find a bed to sleep in. That's what we're going to do. Mm, no go. I think there's beds in this house. Still not familiar with this village at all. Hmm. That's all he's ever been. Okay, so please bear with me. It has been a couple days since I've played this. I have not been playing this off stream in my own free time as much as I would like to. This guy looks important. Nope, never mind. Just a worker drone. Don't mind him. Here's a bed. Can I sleep in it? Nice. I like this world. People don't mind that you sleep in their beds. It's pretty neat. I dig it. Let's sleep until morning. I'm sorry, stranger. Excuse me? I have no idea what you're Hello? talking about. Trade. Me. I'm a solid, honest berserker. I don't know who told you what, but get lost before you get me exiled, or worse. I'm going. I'm going. Okay, so we're going to leave the village here. Because we're in the middle of this murder mystery quest. We have five suspects to interrogate or question in total. And so far we've done three. We finished up our third suspect right as we were capping off the last stream. Um, just trying to go back over what we've covered last time. I don't recall the first suspect off the top of my head number two I definitely remember a lot better because he was this really cool ranger archer looking guy and he had some awesome armor and a cool bow and arrow that I would hope to use one day so I hope he's not the murderer because I want to keep this guy on my side because he can train me to do better ranger and archery stuff which is my favorite.
And then the third fellow... The third guy was a farmer? One of the guys was a farmer. I think the first guy was a farmer. Also, not very suspicious. The third gentleman, however, he was a guard, and it seemed to be implied that he was drinking on the job. So, that's never a good sign. And... So far, all fingers point to that fellow. Oh, look at Elex. Elexit. I seem to be surrounded by monsters, though. This is not good. Uh oh. Ah, oh, this is not good. Now there's one behind me. Oh, now there's three of them. Let's get out of here. Very first encounter, and we're we're running away. That was scary. Did you guys see that? I don't know if I can handle this game anymore. What are we in? Not even ten minutes in, and I'm already second guessing our our life choices for today. Let's take the scenic route, see if uh, see if anything fortuitous for us pops up here. This is neat. Turns out I can swim. I have no idea how long or to what capacity. It's the first time I've ever taken a dip in this game. I hope everything's sounding good. I have a slightly different setup today than from last time. A lot of these streams are still very experimental in nature when it comes to all of the equipment and technology we have set up. I was also trying to run some of this music sort of as a background or weight music, Muzak, if you will. Um, I should probably have a different setup for that. Especially since I wasn't just playing a song, like a track. It was still the project file that I had. So I was essentially running an entirely separate program just to play that music track so it's putting a little bit more strain on my computer than is necessary for the output essentially I just haven't gotten around to exporting those tracks to a listenable file they're mostly just work projects for now or project files I should say Okay, let's try this bow, because I haven't done anything yet with it. I have no idea how many arrows I have. Okay. Ow, ow, all right, rough. Am I hitting him? Cool. Well, that worked. Um, I do got to say that did not feel the best gameplay wise. There was, v I feel like personally, there was such a small indication that I was actually hitting the enemy. Like there was like, I didn't hear any arrow noises or any sort of collision sound effect. It seemed very lacking. Like, uh, there was just no physicality to it at all. And also, oh, shit, somebody's behind me. It's, oh, lunchtime. I should turn that off. Sorry, folks. Oh, my God. <laughs> and that's what happens when you look away. Get, get your pipe out. Come on, come on, come on. Ah! <sighs> <sighs> 
He's gonna kill me. Is that a person? Yes, there's people over there. I should talk to them. Right after I kill this demon goat. I hate these guys. Oh boy. Seems to be stuck on the cliff. Let's take a moment to practice with our bow. So like I was saying before, I was interrupted by my alarm and also this monster. When I shoot the bow, there's essentially no draw. <clears throat> ow, ow, that hurt. You just, it's, you hit the button and he shoots. There's no hold. You hold to aim. Am I out of arrows? God. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> well, I killed him. Hey, we leveled up. All right, nice. I'll take it. That was the goofiest thing so far in this game. <laughs> the enemies don't seem to have any loot on them. I've also just finished playing like fresh off of playing Zelda Breath of the Wild on my free time. That's like my free free time relaxation game. <laughs> it's a rough comparison. It's a rough, uh, it's a tough act to follow. It's a really good game. It's amazing. It's my... So you fight? Oh boy. Uh-oh. They don't like me. They're not friendly. They have really good weapons too. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to run. Let's see how far they'll chase me before I even start sprinting. Let's see how more how much of a casual jog they're willing to go on. That's where we're at today. It's the kind of day. Oh, whoa, they're fighting each other. Nice. Oh, that didn't slow him down. Not one bit. He's still coming after me. Should I save? I'm not sure if this is a good position to save in. We're going to take the risk, though. Because if I die, I'm just going to end up right back there being chased by this fellow. It's going to be inevitable. What the hell is happening? Did you see that? What the hell? Is this me crouching? That's me crouching? That, is that what that is? Seems to be. He's walking very slowly. I guess this is me sneaking. Explains why I can never get away from anybody. Oh, God. I was just going to mention how I'm af deathly afraid of these raptors still, and he, he notices me staring. I really do enjoy this environment. It's like a slightly advanced technological society or group of people and then sort of the result of the fall of that society. Nature has begun to take over but we still have all of these remnants from the past and this is really, really cool in my opinion. Let's save it here because 
I don't want to load up in the middle of some guy chasing my butt. That does not sound fun to me. Oh, yeah, I was going to look at the map, too. Oh, and I should also level up, right? Let's see. These folks are very, very far. I don't know if it's a good idea to even try to continue heading in that direction. Okay, let's see. Increases melee damage with each level. Ranged weapons. I'm Okay, let's let's talk through this here. I'm apprehensive to level up my range even though that's what I'm planning on using to have fun in this game for the most part. That's usually what I go for. Wow, I even need money to upgrade these as well. It's like I need to pay my teacher to teach me. Hmm. So many choices to make. What I don't understand is there was a point at which I didn't have enough charisma to to complete a dialogue option. So I'm not sure where I'm not seeing where charisma is here. Well, should I aim for strength, combat, attack strength, personality? I feel like personality is supposed to be charisma, but the game uses two different words for whatever reason. Makes no sense to me. Strength and dex both need to be 25 and 15, respectively, for us to continue. Oops, that's not what I want. So dex is at 15 now. Strength, we're going to do 25. Cunning, influence the social skills. So now we at least have all of our attributes to the right point to get this next level up, this next um, ability, I should say. We just need the money. Oh, I need intelligence of five, and uh, I should just keep doing decks up to 25. Yeah, those are flip-flopped. I did not notice that. All right, cool. Let's get Dex up almost that way. Now we're starting to see something here. Maybe if I just go around collecting and selling resources, maybe, maybe just maybe then I will have enough money... to actually use these skill points I have. I have three already and I can't use them. 
It's wild. Ooh, that's a scary looking fellow. Hello, guy. We're just going to keep walking. I can't wait until we're strong enough to fight enemies like that. I'm still struggling with the lowest of the low. Like, the Rattatas in this game are giving me grief. That's not a good sign. Hey, what's up, dude? Just gonna casually strut out of the field. Oh, it's a traveling Hello, merchant. Stranger. That is I awesome. The best goods that you could ever need during your travels. Thank you, sir. This is quite fortuitous. I was literally gonna fast travel back into town just so I could then show me what you have. Try to do some bartering. Only the best for an adventure like you. Only the best. Okay, let's see if I can afford anything. I can almost afford this cowl. Don't want to sell anything that might give me health or energy at some point. Hmm. And this is ammunition too. seems to be most of the items I have on me serve some sort of purpose. They're not just junk to barter away. Because I'm guessing, I'm just making the assumption here, if we have materials that can be crafted into better materials or resources like potions or elixirs we can sell those to get significantly much more return back versus selling the raw materials so that's where this that's where the logic here is we're going to save this all How much do you want to bet there's a secret under this bridge? Or not. Oh, look, the merchant. He's in a fight. Why are you not fighting back? Huh. Oh, great. Now he's on me. Oh. 
looking healthy and strong my beautiful birthday boy from our resident blammer bro tim team timbo i was gonna drop your full name for some reason i had to stop myself <laughs> i feel so official today but thank you for dropping by and dropping the love team timbo Thank you for the birthday hats. I've got a birthday hat here. I wasn't sure how it would look. It doesn't really fit. I don't want to bother with the chin strap, you know? So this is how we're looking for now. I'll let you use that for the thumbnail. How about we do one of these, like... I'm sure the hands will probably be annoying, so we'll just do one of these. All right, cool. <laughs> do not feel obligated to use any of those. That was just for humor purposes, first and foremost. Ah, oh, wonderful. This is a dead end. I was hoping to use a little shortcut. But yeah, I don't think I don't think I've mentioned yet. Today is my birthday. It is my birthday, and I had plans to do something today, and they got pushed back by a day. Whoa, whoa, oh no, uh-oh, no, 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 no. Stay away, sir. I'm trying to have a moment here with my friends. The perfect who me look, <laughs> that, and I died. That's what I get for not paying attention. Um. I know, right? Hopefully you can use some of those. I'm going to take this off. It's kind of annoying. Covering up my, my luscious locks. But anyways, yeah, I had... We had plans to meet with the band that I play in, in the studio, the recording studio. We have two more days of mixing, finalized mixing. We're not doing any more recording. We're just doing all the levels and making sure it sounds great before we master. Oof, Death Claws. I know, I know. That is essentially the Death Claw of this game. So far, I'm sure there's even worse ones out there. Here's a baby Death Claw. Uh-oh, that's not a good sign. So far, we've been like 50-50 for people on the road being friendly or nice. The first group of people I saw wanted to attack me. Oh. Halt. Who goes there? Wait. Is that you, Jax? I thought you were dead. Oh, this guy knows Do me. I look dead? His name is Jax. No. Gotta remember that. Jax. Even in death. What did you hear? How do you know me? What is... I'm so famous. My what reputation precedes me, me, apparently. Here? You mean, what other lies did they sell us? We were told you were executed. You failed your mission. An execution was carried out in the field. What was the real plan? Infiltrate somewhere undercover? You're telling me. I don't I don't know. You wouldn't be alive right now if this I guy's was some, orders This guy has some cool armor, I do got to say. I want some of that. You expect me to buy that? Look at me. Do Jax I Perot. Like Elix? Why would I yeah, sacrifice I'm going to roll with that. Thank and you. And try and kill you. When had the Elixiters Jacques ever allowed people to stop taking Elix? Then what did happen? Why would they try and... Jax and Carax? Why Are these guys Lucia like brothers or something? Calix was there at the crash site. Jax, Carax, Calax. Execution of those who fail orders. Ball sacks. when he shot me. Are you allowed to say how many tracks you guys hope to release? But I'm alive. Yeah. And I want answers. I wouldn't have believed that a few months ago. I'm gonna let these guys finish. I'm gonna let you finish. The story fits with other things that I have seen and heard. There is a change in Zaycor. Troops being withheld. Commanders changed. Orders. As in Captain Jack's pair O. Used to. What do you think is happening? I'm not sure. Is that a? <laughs> Please enlighten me. I'm lost. An Elix fed soldier. They didn't tell me anything. Now I'm just a soldier. 
and without the elix to dull me, he is looking very pale. You got Snow White over here. So what are you doing out here, Carax? What exactly is your job out here? Reconnaissance. We're gathering information on the free people. The Albs and Zacor want us dead as traitors. The free people don't know what to make of this. We're surrounded by threat on all sides. But it was the same in Zacor. There have been changes since the Alexiters took control of the courts of the palace. You were probably a victim of those changes. Do you know Kalix's current location? Oh, <laughs> passed to the north in the highlands of Abessa. Jack Sparrow. The ice palace is gathering its strength. <laughs> I like that though. I was just I wasn't pronouncing it correctly. For a large scale attack soon. That's a uh, that's more of a verbal a stream of soldiers and officers type of joke. You need to hear that one out loud. So we're still hearing news from Zaycor. Your name has been dropped, dishonored, and another commander has taken your place. So, you believe me? Well, you're here, and they lied about you. I don't know what the others at headquarters think about you, but you're on the outside too now, Jax. Zaycor will see you as a separatist just like us. So, if you want to stay alive, I guess you're stuck with us. Zaycor won't forget you were sentenced for execution. So much plot happening right that now. That makes us allies of circumstance, if nothing else. You should speak with our leader, Sestak. Our headquarters are located at the converter in South Abessa. I'd better get back to guard duty. There are outlaws roaming around out here. They will kill you and have your stuff on the black market before your body hits the ground. They haven't made us welcome, that's for sure. Thanks for the warning. Okay. So, um, just to go back a little bit, rewind. Um, in the recording studio, yes, we have five tracks down. And as far as I know, we're going to release all five of those tracks together as one release package. An EP, if you will. Let's see. Oh, my God. Okay. Let me finish this up before I get to there. Um, yeah. Uh, like I said, we were scheduled today and tomorrow. The engineer is a really cool guy. He's so good. He just, I think, mistyped in his calendar or something. And we all had our days slightly off but we just pushed everything back for tuesday wednesday we're gonna finish up the mixing and release soon hopefully i don't know how like the turnaround time for the release is. i assume if we're doing digital it's just gonna be like oh cool here's your you know here's your hard drive or whatever with your music on it do with it what you will um as far as physical release is going that's a little bit more vague I don't think we have like money to be paying for, you know, printing and, and publishing and all this stuff. But one of the members is excited about doing a very limited cassette tape run. So if you want to have a Laytropic cassette tape with our first five officially recorded songs on it, um, keep an eye out. I'm sure I'll be sharing it like crazy as soon as it's official. I'll be I'm going to be a whore. Like, I'm just going to be boom, 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 boom. Hey, guys, check out my band. Check out my band. It's going to be everywhere, every day, 10 times a day. 1 to 10 scale, 1 being a single, 10 being an album, 5 being an EP. How much jamitude can we anticipate? So I, I did answer your question. Yes, 5-track EP. And, yeah. Going forward in the future, um... We have sat down and sort of talked about, like, what's going to happen with these five songs once we move forward. And essentially, the plan is to not go back and record these songs again for, like, an official full-length release. Like, I know some bands kind of do. In my opinion, it would have to be an extremely rare circumstance... For us to go back and redo those songs like some crazy big shot producer oh, oh boy like somebody who doesn't even fit our style like p diddy comes up and is like hey man i really like your music we got to do we got to do this we got to sit down we got to re-record these songs and if he's paying then by all means yes i would like really take the time to do each one of those songs justice um, 
But for now, we're just gonna we're gonna play it as it lies. And we already have a bunch of songs written down for the full length. And there's gonna be no overlap. So by the time we get another release out, it's gonna be a whole big batch of new songs. And like even new for us. Like these songs are still not like completed. They're pretty much in the demo stage. Trophy time, Hunter. Um But I'm excited. It sounds cool. I'm really, really pumped to see where the future takes us. We have a bunch of tracks that we've been playing live and we've been practicing. We only recorded about half of them for this EP and the other half might might fall victim to the sands of time, you know? We'll see. Let me catch up on chat. I'm sure they'll be done justice, says Tim. Then you can keep moving on and continue to just grow the catalog. I mean, yeah, that's exactly what we're doing. Focus on mastering those five more for opener gigs. Haha. -ha. Yes. Um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to have these tracks ready so that we can start playing gigs immediately. Wherever and whenever we can. Then more for inevitable headlinings. Exactly. Exactly. And it's it's weird. I being such a huge fan of music and going back and knowing stories about some songs like Led Zeppelin and Houses of the Holy, for instance. Like they had Houses of the Holy around for that album. Like the album was titled after this song, but at the last minute they decided, no, we're gonna shelf this song. It's not good enough. It's not ready. Oh, I want to use my special move. I missed it. And me as a music fan, I mean, hindsight helps a lot too, but I'm thinking like, what? How could, how could Led Zeppelin have a whole song that's like good enough to be titled, like good enough to call the album after and just shelf it and put it back, like put it back on the shelf. Like doesn't hear the light of day until the next album, Physical Graffiti. And now having been in a band, having been in that situation, I totally understand a good debut EP is the band version of a tight five. Oh, yes. You speak the truth, sir. You do. But, yeah, I mean, seeing the process and the whole big picture whoa is that just a robot there's a freaking robot right there guys i'm gonna save who knows what this is gonna happen next but yeah i mean there's a realization that some songs are you know they're totally fine to play live they're fun they're cool they have good energy but then when you when you sit down and like throw it on an official recording and you like sanitize everything and it really you know it sounds almost too clean some songs just don't they just don't hold up and it's it's sad because we have a lot of cool songs that i i think are fun to play that i love to play what the f where am i right now? i'm just blindly wandering around rambling about music i hope i don't get killed is this a spaceship what the hell rockets somebody call rockets dude 3000 his rocket is here wild this game i'm like going through phases of of like loving it and also being so confused uh, i don't know if you were here earlier tim or if you're still here but if you are uh, i mentioned that i had been playing what the frig is this it's like a zombie goat Rot mulch. oh shit i'm gonna die Sadly, I can't jetpack and heal at the same time. That's probably too close to cheating. Um, but I was going to say that I've been playing a lot of Zelda Breath of the Wild in my free time since Christmas. And, man, that game is amazing. <laughs> it's, such a, it's such a far cry from what we see here. Although, like, similar, you know, 
somewhat similar vibes and ideas, but just totally different execution. I don't think I should fight this guy. I'm not doing any damage to him. I'm just going to run. I am very far. Why would the game do this to me? I just wanted to do a simple quest. A far cry. <laughs> kind of. No, I was just amazed. I'm I'm going to die and I died. Sorry folks. So wait, switch official now. Oh yeah, baby. I kind of it's like right here. Maybe I can Here we go. We have the switch. Switch imminent. It's got plain black, but it's better than nothing, right? I was keeping my eye out for Neon and for the Animal Crossing one as well. I almost got the Animal Crossing one, but I didn't jump. I didn't jump on that order quick enough before it sold. But we got the gray. I got it for Cybernetica for Christmas. Yit yit bang bang. Very good. Um, yeah, got it for her for Christmas because she has been in love with that game since you know since before you know when me and tim were still living together and you had the wii u version and i would play it and she loved that game without ever having played it just from honestly just from the audio alone like all the little do 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 you know and little sound bites and all the, the music and that Nintendo polish, she was all for it. And she's been wanting to play that game for a long time. So I was happy to finally make that happen. Let me see if I can run around these uh, Jurassic Park fools here. Surprise she hasn't tried Genshin if she wants more of the similar. Yeah, I mean, I don't think she fully knows what Genshin is. I think she knows about it more in passing. Um, I didn't play that game for longer than 10 to 15 minutes once I found out it's just like a, you know, it's free to play because of the collectability aspect of it with all the skins and characters and whatnot. Let's see. But Breath of the Wild is more solid time for sure. Time better spent. <laughs> That's what I get for looking at chat. Time better spent, but Genshin is free. Yeah, I, I realize. Maybe. I'll we'll, I'll suggest it to her next time we talk. Again, like, I'm pretty sure she knows about it. But now that we have Zelda, there's no real point. But anyways... I hate to keep talking about Zelda over this game, but I just wanted to share that on the second playthrough, I did the whole intro tutorial, which by the way, the beginning of that game is phenomenal. Like somebody, I feel like somebody at Nintendo finally came to grips with how annoying the stupid intro tutorials are. For most video games, Zelda was like the worst offender for a while. I remember Twilight Princess. I was just like, like, please, I'm tired. Skyward Sword, too. Like, I'm tired of fetching cats and doing stupid stuff. Like, give me a sword. Let me go explore the world. Um, Breath of the Wild does have, like, this plateau, if you will, that happens. And once you kind of get over that hump, it the world fully opens. But even in, in that tutorial area, it's still fairly open world. Breath of the Wild all the way. Strike the Genshin. <laughs> Strike Genshin from the record. This never happened. Yeah, they're still chasing me. I need to just keep running. They're actively hunting me. 
Um, but yeah, like you, you leave the shrine and you see the old man sitting on the fire and, you know, the game totally wants you to go talk to that old man. Like it's, it's begging you. And the first time I played, I did, I did all the stuff that the game wanted me to do. This time around though, I just was like, you know what? I know what that old man's going to say. I'm just going to go the other direction. And I just was fighting um enemies right away and i had like no armor and no like i had nothing on me but it was like so cool it was very dark souls-esque because that game is really difficult if you're not set up for it like i wouldn't say it's dark souls hard but you can walk yourself into a dangerous situation easily in that game and i love that And when I finally did get the paraglider and left the plateau, you know, the game... Oh, man, that that blood attack. Wow. That's brutal. No chance. Okay, this time I'm just going to focus and not ramble as much, hopefully. But anyway, just to cap that off, instead of going to Kakariko Village like the game urges you to... I just did a 180 and went to Lake Hylia to get that um, tower to unlock the map. And I found the stables, and I'm, I got this cool blue horse, and I'm, like, exploring all these cool, like, woods and ponds. And I feel like I'm finding all these chests and items I didn't find the first time around because I was so caught up with the main quest I didn't really explore as much. And, like, this time I have so many plants and animals and resources. Like, I'm just collecting everything because I know that it comes in handy at some point. And it's awesome. I'm just like, man, this game is so fun. Like, I was totally expecting to kind of casually play it here and there because I had already played it before, like I said. But, nope. Got the bug. I got bit by the Zelda bug. And if I could stream that game as easily as any of these games, I totally, totally would be doing that right now. I would be like, Elex, sorry, it's been real. But I got better things to do. And I swear, I swear I'm going to stop talking about other games and actually start talking about this game that I'm playing. Maybe. Okay, now that I'm in here, the hell is a rat? Get out of here, rat. Whoops, wrong button. Bear with me. I'm just going to save real quick. But anyways, how is uh, how is everybody doing today? It's a Monday, right? My days are totally blurred because... I had off for Christmas Day, and I took today off because of the aforementioned studio plans that fell through. So instead of like letting my work know, like, hey, you know what? I don't really need the day off after all. I just thought, you know what? It's my birthday. I'm just going to take the day. I never, I like never take days off here and there. Like if I take a day off, it's because I need to do something else usually other work like be on a film set or um in the studio or band practice or something like that let's see i want more junk i need i need to sell i need money there's nothing in here i'm still getting used to what you know, like what things you can pick up and what you can't. That looks like a sword. What is it? That's a sword. Why can't I pick that up? Look at that. Oh, dude, I can. What? Sorry, I've been playing too much Zelda. I'll stop. 
Dude, so cool. Okay, I'm dumb. I couldn't pick anything up because I had my dumb weapon out. I have all the buttons confused because I'm playing different games on different systems. This is the first time in my life I'd ever have to look down at a PlayStation controller because I don't know where the X button is because freaking Nintendo fingers got me all screwed up. I got that Nintendo thumb. Two-handed. Aww. I'm not leveled up enough. Oh my god, I was so excited for this sword. This weapon can be enhanced magically. Wow. I have fuel for a flamethrower. I don't have the flamethrower, though. That's sad. I am 30 points short in strength and 23 points short in dexterity. How does that make any sense? I can't use a sword. I'm too baby for a sword. God damn, that was like the biggest, like, not even just a 180. It was like a total 360. I went from being like, oh, I can't pick the sword up to, wow, look at this cool sword, to, wow, I can't use this sword. How sad. I also need to start going through some of these documents and seeing if there's any anything of value. Seems like most of this junk I can just sell. Ooh, a sleeping bag. Definitely use that. Amulet of protection. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's check this bad boy out. 10 maximum health, 5 armor. I'll take it. That's awesome. I love video games. Warning. 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 I'm going to guess all these warnings are the same. Okay, excuse me while I re-loot this room that I thought that I was looting, but I was too stupid to realize you can't have your weapon out when you're looting. Who would have thought? Some scraps. I keep forgetting to title the stream after Cyber's joke of how this game is the scraps of every other game. <laughs> Which she meant as a compliment, by the way, but I just thought it was so funny. Just the way it came out. Oh, this game's just the scraps of all the other games. I want to say the... You know, a more positive spin. You could say this game is a pastiche of various other works of art. I was trying to think of a fancier way to say video games, but I couldn't think of it. Electronic entertainment devices. I don't know. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to try to stop talking fancy. Oh, man. Tim, if you're still there, I know you're probably gone by now, but... If you want to stream together, just let me know. Text me. Discord me. Ooh, there's a chest here. <gasps> Excuse me. So excited there. Almost went down the wrong pipe. It didn't happen. It was close. You ever have, like, the threshold where, like, you have that droplet that, like, hits the barrier, like, the little divider thing, but it doesn't go all the way in? That's kind of what happened to me. We got some pants. Not as good as the pants I have on. We got some soup. Pick locks. We're going to sell the plates and all the spoons. This house is... This is awesome. I can't believe I was just going to run right by this structure. Without looting it at all. Um, but yeah, Tim, just let me know. Um, I'm just going to play this for a while. I'm happy to cut it short if you want to do something. But you said maybe not till later tonight. I don't know if tonight is good for me. I do have some very casual dinner plans. 
by that i mean we're gonna order takeout and pretend pretend that we're doing something special and not just ordering takeout like we do every week but hey we're getting uh we're getting food from somewhere we don't always go it's one of our favorite restaurants we go there maybe once or twice a year so that will be special at the very least where's that sleeping bag I think I'm done looting I think it was in here before we do that let's take a look at some of our literature we have here Where I could have swore I just saw all of the letters. Food? It's not under food. Materials? No. Items? No. No. Oh, here we go. Written. Numbered slip of paper two. Old world note found in an old world house. This note has, excuse me, a number on it. Number three. I got it. 10 XP from that. I'll take it. I wonder if it's a combination. Maybe I should go pick up all those other papers. Short request. Sandra, we have had a sudden accident in the family. Unfortunately, that has meant we've had to leave early today. Please watch the house and garden for us. We will call you as soon as we get a chance. Thank you. Best regards. Wow. I'm sure that never happened. Serial killer wreaks havoc. A serial killer is using the general chaos to murder young women with long black hair between the ages of 20 to 25. I warn all citizens hiding in their homes. Watch over your daughters. He took mine. Take my warning seriously. Wowzers. There's four warnings here. Let's see. Let's see how they compare. They're all the same thing. Maybe we can sell them. I don't know. Sleep until morning. Oh, here's another numbered slip of paper. One. Should I look for the other slips of paper? There's at least two more. What is this? Wine. There are a lot of little objects that are easy to miss. Such as this duct tape. Look at that. How would you see that? Healing potion. Wow. First aid kit. Unusable. What the? Maybe there's some paper out here. Oh my god, this guy, this guy cannot relax. He just can't sit back and fully enjoy what this world has to offer. Get up, sir. How do I get up? See, look at this mana potion I did not see. Do, do, 
do 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 We spent so much time in this building, but I'm just want to be sure we're not missing any extra documents that might lead us to a treasure. Seems like those number, like those slips, are maybe a combination or a numbered password keypad entry. And I would not be doing this if, again, it's so easy to miss items that you can pick up. I swear, every time I go back around, I feel like I find a couple more that I missed the first time. Cool. All right. I think that was a successful forage. I'm going to save that. Before we continue, all right, I'm going to take this guy out. <coughs> He got me while I was drinking a potion. It's always a good feeling. I'm dying in the middle of healing. Okay. Let's load this up. I'm gonna... I'm gonna give it a couple more shots. Looking for these suspects that we're supposed to interrogate there's two more they are very far north on the map i'm starting to really see excuse me see my low level catch up to me and again pardon me i'm drinking this um found this neat hibiscus ginger brew that looked very tasty and it is, but it's like super, super strong, like really spicy, like that, that ginger root. You can know how it kind of like feels real smoky in your stomach. So that's what we're working with here. Dude, there's a whole vein of Elex here. How do I use it? I need a pickaxe or something. Can I mark my map? Yes, I can. Well, let's leave this here for now. If I somehow magically find a tool to utilize that resource, we'll come right back. If not, if we need to throw down another marker, so be it. I'm sure there will be plenty more out in the world where that came from. But I think... I think Elex is the money, right? Like, that's what we're collecting So if I could mine for money, that's like mining gold, essentially, right? That would be awesome. Okay. Whoa, is that dome where... Is that where I'm heading? That's wild. That's like the Simpsons movie right there. If I can't seem to make it to this quest marker. I was thinking of just kind of hanging around the first village we've set up shop in, doing some grinding. Nobody likes the G word, but I really need some money and some XP. All right, let's see if I can do any damage to this guy. Oh, 
Alright, so we're doing some. Very minimal damage. So yeah, even though this appears to be the same type of enemy we've been fighting, he he's got like seems to be have much higher stats. My strikes aren't doing nearly as much damage. He seems to be a lot faster, a lot more evasive. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just not good at this game. <laughs> but I have the feeling that the further away I move, the more distance I travel on the map, the higher scale um, the enemies level up. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, great. We got a rat. <laughs> See, it's... I'm not doing any damage to him, and he's just a rat. Okay, we're gonna run. It's not worth our time. I also am not a big fan of how the camera automatically goes to over the shoulder view as soon as I enter combat, it seems like. To me. Oh, happy birthday, Cyber. Thank you. Thank you for all the emotes. You know how much we love emotes here. Are you winning or losing? I am losing. <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not like we're not 100% losing. Whoa. This tree's got some big cojones. We're not absolutely losing, but if we had to, you know, if we had to round up or down, we'd probably round down to losing for this session. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Thank you for the air horns. I need, we need a sound, um, sound effect panel here. That would be great. Soundboard. That's what I'm thinking. Those things that the DJs have, you know what I'm talking about. We're going to save right here. There's a quick save button. I have not learned it yet. Oh, wait. I feel like it says it right there, but my... My, uh, um... <laughs> my camera window is blocking it. My floating head, my talking head, if you will. Kapow! Thank you for the kapow. Thank you for the chip. Cyber spamming all the emotes here. If you're watching on YouTube archives, you gotta check this stuff out on Twitch. You gotta see it happen when it you gotta see it when it happens live. You gotta witness it. You can't miss it. Well, this seems to be a structure of some sort. It looks like they're guarding the heart tree. Ooh, some mana. I'll take that for sure. I haven't used any mana yet. I just realized that blue bar has been full this whole playthrough. Talking Head, great band. Um, That's strange. It should work. I think it's just YT. Hmm. 
Why isn't the command working? Let me try another command. Hmm. Um, no, that's... Try the hydrate command because... For some reason, the YouTube command's not working for me either. I was editing a lot of the commands last night. I might have accidentally changed something. That's strange. Yeah, thank you, though. Thank you for dropping that YouTube archive link. I was thinking about doing it, but, you know. Yeah? Not now. I was spamming so many commands last time Tim was streaming that I felt a little... feel weird spamming my own commands. The Discord one works. That's so weird. Oh. Can't multitask? No, if you've ever seen these streams, anytime I look down at the computer, everything just comes to a dead halt. So, no, the answer is no, I can't multitask. And if I do, it's not very well. If I multitask each, if I'm doing two things, each thing gets done 50%. Versus if I was doing one thing, it'd be 100%. You've done well getting here alive. Are you a sentry here? Yes. My name is Thorgal. Thorgal. The world hot while you're here. I feel like we've heard of Thorgal. Shit, okay? I've seen his name around. His reputation precedes him, it seems. Well, anyway, thank you for joining, Cyber. How are you doing today? I'm not sure if I asked. This lovely Monday afternoon. We're just playing Elex because, you know, what else? What else is there to do these days? Except play video games with our friends, watching via the internet. What a magical time we live in. Anything happening around here that I should know about? Now it's working. I don't know. We don't have the man. Didn't someone name drop him? Someone palisade. did name drop him. Either Duris or Ragnar. Maybe Tywin. One of those dudes. What are you doing here? Take a wild guess. The large plant should give you a clue. We spent a lot of blood protecting this world heart. Lives of the present to build a future for us all. Cyber's doing good, but it's Monday. Got a case of the old Mondays, I see. Gotta shake just shake it out. Just just shake it out, you know. Get all loosey goosey, get those spirit fingers going. I should probably pay attention to this dude because I'm conducting a murder investigation. I am not paying any attention. Your post seems undermanned. Ragnar sent the men we could spare. I sent some of them with one of our cultivators to a farm near the domed city. We thought they would be able to drum up some supplies for us, but instead they've disappeared. It can't be good that they aren't back yet. It's bad enough that the group is missing, but Rock, our cultivator, is gone too. I really need the Rock. Rock? To help me look the Rock's in this home. game. He's the expert. Dwayne Johnson. Can I get his autograph? I can look for this missing cultivator, I guess. I can look for this missing cultivator. Yet another quest. You would? Another fetch that quest. That would be helpful. But be careful. There has to be a reason why he hasn't returned yet, and you might just walk into it. The farm Rock went to is below the Dome City. You should look for him there. Well, looks like we're headed for the Dome City. That's where we just saw. Ascor is dead. Dead? What the hell happened to him? He was murdered. All right, sinking our teeth it. in. Here we go, straight for the kill. He was just too ambitious. Throwing them softball questions out first. All right. So let's start. Let's start on the outside. Work our way in. Start with Goliad. How long have you been away from Goliad? Just over three Quest months. galore. You Since know how much I love my in, quests. Trying to survive in the beautiful islands of Abessa. <laughs> Trying to manage an outpost with too few people and too few supplies. And you have witnesses to your whereabouts? Yeah. More if we can find that missing supply team. This camp by the World Heart is where I've been, and this is where I'll stay until the warlords order me back. Ooh, new circumstantial evidence. I like that. You must be good with a sword, huh? If you're guarding this place. You must be good with a sword to have got posted out here. 
Not good enough to hit someone in a dam from here, if that's what you mean. Can you think of anyone who might have done it? Me? No. Well, not specifically. He's ambitious. Or was ambitious. He always wanted to become a paladin. Last I heard, he was due to be tested by Ragnar along with some other candidates. Passing that test was all he ever wanted. So, what do you think got him murdered? I don't know. Askor was a good man. Well, he was to me. But he could wind people up. Maybe he got the wrong person pissed with him. Maybe someone else was as ambitious as him. Hmm. More circumstantial evidence. I feel like we're getting somewhere here. How well did you know this guy? You knew Ascor well. Yeah, I asked <clears> if <throat> he could come out here on this assignment. But he stayed back in Goliath so he could take the warrior test. When did you last see Ascor? Just over three months ago. Not long before I came out here. It's obvious you didn't do it. Yeah, well, I hope you'll find who did. I think Ragnar must just have wanted you eliminated from suspicion. He said to question me? Yes, Duras told me. Duras. We love he Duras. Stands by his duty. I hope the two of you find the murderer. I'm working on it. Look into whoever might have been a rival for Askor. That's my advice. All right, so Thorgal, going to cross his name off the list. Keep your eyes peeled. Things get dangerous quickly here. Thank you, Thorgal. Okay, so that's the domed city. Okay. Just playing around with the marker. I can only have one at a time, unfortunately. This ain't no Zelda. Making custom markers and stickers all over the map. All right, we're going to make our way to the domed city just outside to talk to the last suspect. Is there a bed somewhere around here? That would be phenomenal. What the hell? What was that? Cave bird the heck? I don't know no birds living in caves. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Give me this potion. Some scraps. Some pre-war money. i probably sell that off. Halt. Only berserkers assigned to the world heart are allowed here. Ah, oh, come on, man. I just want to take a nap. I see the bed right behind you. Gosh. Gosh dang. Maybe I can sneak. Maybe I can, like, pull a fast one on this dude. <laughs> In your face. Will you take the forbidden bow? I wonder what happens if I get caught stealing in this game. Do they take me to jail? I am the stealth master. No one can compare with Jax. That was easy. Literally just walked right around the corner and snuck into a bed. I'm going to just make my way out quietly, carefully, sneakily. Whee! Hey, did you see any of that? Halt. Only berserkers assigned to the world heart are allowed here. Got him. Pulled a fast one. 
stealth skills to pay the bills. Oh my god, and I just lost half of my health. <laughs> okay, I don't want to wander off too far from here, but I would like to make sure that I didn't miss any other trinkets or shiny objects around here. Like this. Look at this mana just sitting right here. Beautiful. Alright, let's go back to bed. It's like apparently I can't make a jump without losing half my health. Sneaky, sneaky. Sleep until morning. Sneaking around while other people are watching you is pretty pointless. <gasps> he sees me. Run. Let's head to the Thunderdome. Find this last murder suspect. Hopefully we can cap off this quest. I haven't really gotten much in the way of resources, but every time I eliminate a suspect from the list, I seem to get a decent amount of XP. And that is what we need. Oh god, that does not look friendly. Well, that was an awkward audio cutout. Just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Ooh, that looks like a very good house to loot. Anybody there? Anybody home? Can't wait to play some Zelda after this, am I right? <laughs> Well, you know, I'll tell you what, this game does have Velociraptors. Zelda does not have that, as far as I know. There is a little bit of DLC for that game I've never gotten around to yet. What the heck is going on here? There are two monsters front and center. Then we got the fellow by the house just strutting around like nothing's going on. A hey, Zelda... You missed the Zelda talk, Cyver. We were just talking about how much <clears throat> you and I love that game. How much I have been loving replaying that game. It's been a real good time. Now this is wild. That's like a dinosaur mixed with a person. It's like a dinosaur with a human head. That is scary. Dude, any game that has dinos is great. I know. I agree. I was watching um, Final Fantasy VIII playthrough, and dinosaurs popped up, and I'm like, yes! Score! Like a centaur? Yeah, he, he's like a dinotar. A dinotar. <laughs> Stupid. It's like a zom zombino, zom dine dine bee. How do you how do you combine dino and zombie? 
Wait, though, which Zelda? Because let's face it, there's a <laughs> Let's face facts. There's a bunch. There is. I should reiterate for anyone who's just joining us. When I speak of Zelda right now in this, this conversation, I'm most likely talking about Breath of the Wild for the Nintendo Switch. Also had a release on the Wii U, but let's face it. You want to play it on the Switch. It's much better. I do got to say. All right, we made it to this farm. This looks like a safe place. Let's see if there's anything cool we can uh, we can loot before we start no, asking no, questions. I can't talk to you right now. Yeah, not now. All right. See now, if this were Zelda, I could pick up these rakes, use them as weapons, but. What what are we gonna do? This is what we're working with. It seems as though the camp extends into that building, but why are there monsters all over the place? That's what I would like to know. I'm not down with that. Zomsor? Zomasaur? I like that. Zomasaur. Zombie sore. Zombie sword doesn't sound bad, but I don't like it when you're putting two words together and the new word essentially contains one of the entire old words, like zombie, zom zombinosaur, zombino, zom zombie sword. I don't know. I'm... These are <laughs> these words are beginning to not sound like words anymore. They just sound like noises coming from my mouth making zero sense mental energy reserve that's what i need right now i need some mental energy to help me english properly whoa 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 check this stuff out we got some greenery here these guys are growing them green herbs if you've played resident evil you know what i'm talking about or you could watch our stream archive of resident evil uh oh i thought the game froze for a second i thought i broke it you must not, you're not allowed to talk about Resident Evil during this game. Dinby, dino -y. Oh my god, it's still going on. <laughs> We're still trying to figure out the best combination of zombie and dino, or dinosaur. Uh, but yes, um, if you do like Resident Evil, me and Cyber just finished playing Resident Evil 2 on Twitch stream. Me and Tim also did a Resident Evil remake, the first one. We did a Let's Play on YouTube that you can watch. And that one's really funny because we... How did that one happen? Essentially, we played an older version first. Were we playing it on the GameCube? I'm like so... I'm trying to remember now. We were playing it um on the gamecube i think and then that crashed and i bought it on the ps4 so then we just like oh yeah that's right i had to like play through it again myself to get to the point that we were in the first playthrough <laughs> and then we started up the ps4 version which was high definition remastered again like a re-remaster it's so much better looking so that was a funny playthrough. You should check that out if you're looking for something like that to watch. Don't mean to self-plug, but, you know, we got to survive out here somehow. That is a scary monster. That is big. Also, the audio is, like, so weird right now. There's, like, no rain ambience noise. Or if there is, I can barely hear it. It's just very awkward feeling right now. I would also like to play Resident Evil 3 Remake sometime in the future. Oh, dude. Whoa, whoa. Nice. Is this a teleporter? Awesome. Awesome. Whoa, Fiona. The hell? 
That's sad. The person still has a name tag. And they're they're buried. They're buried and dead. It's fuck. It's wild. Oh my god. So I guess that that's the game's answer for jetpack shenanigans. <clears throat> they just have all the enemies shoot gross stuff. Projectile. He's gonna shoot me. I can't move my camera while I'm jetpacking either. I've just now realized that. It's a huge problem. Yeah, come help me out, guys. Thank you. I need a sword. Oh my god. He he killed that guy instantly. I need a sword so badly. Alexit. Oh great, more monsters. I just want to forage without getting into a fight. Is that that too big of a request to ask for? Anyways, the main thing is that we have a teleporter in this location now, which means we can fast travel between this spot and the first village. We're gonna save ourselves so much time, so much energy, so many deaths. Oops. Put that weapon away before I have to make you. Sorry. That's the right decision. <laughs> Oh my god. So like, yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. Put put it away. Put it away. You don't even want to think about it. Don't even try it, bud. Don't even. I got a broom. Some potions. A mug. And some mugs. I got a mean mug. I mean Jax has a mean mug, that's what that's what I mean to say. I think I have a pretty nice mug. Yes, that's like every open world exploration. Enemies everywhere. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so sorry I missed your comment earlier, Cyber. Fiona! It's a Euro Trip reference if I ever saw one. If you haven't seen Euro Trip and you're watching this, check it out. Like, I wouldn't say like sit down and watch it right away, but like look into it. It might not be might not be a bad movie for you I, it came out around um early 2000s right when american pie and like all these raunchy teen flicks were coming out like road trip and not another teen movie and euro trip kind of came out amidst all those movies but i think it like holds up way better than those other movies i mean it still has the weird like raunchy like puberty boy humor but it's also got a lot of like solid jokes fred armison does a great job as the italian dude miscusi 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 you know that guy i think it holds up i like watching that movie for a good laugh hey you what's new from the south oh dude look it's the rock no, I'm talking we found about him. The we found the rock. Look at him. Right Tabar. Why are you interested in Tabar? I'm sick of the shit here. Berserkers, clerics, fuck them all. It's all laws, commandments, rules. It's bullshit, all of it. Fuck rules, fuck laws, fuck the berserkers. The outlaws in the desert. Whoa, the language angels. rock. Come on. Freedom, profit, no I thought bullshit. you were a family friendly entertainer. I didn't know the rock had to work in the blue. You want to be an outlaw? Yeah, absolutely. They know how to live freely. I've done nothing but work, follow orders, dig shit, and for what? To have people try and kill me for things I don't even believe in. Fuck them. 
I want to see the world. Instead, I'm stuck here. What do you want me to do about it, The Rock? I can't help you out. Hmm. So, The Rock here says he wants to be an outlaw, wants to go to Tavar. Thorngald, who we just talked to, wants this guy to come back to guard the heart tree, because that's what he's supposed to do. So I'm not sure if I should nudge him to go back to the heart tree. Then why don't you go to Tavar? Or follow his dreams? The we'll see. There, or the shards. But I know I could earn what I need. If I could just get the supplies I need to make it there. Another fetch quest. Oh my god. Thorgal wants you to return to the world heart. I bet he does, but he can go fuck himself. I'm not oh my going god. He can Buddy, go language here. Come on. Kissing law abiding fellows from Goliath to do his dirty work. I don't want anything to do with it, Dan. I'm going to Tavar. It's so funny. I, it, for me, cursing in video games, there's like a certain sweet spot. Like, most games have no cursing, obviously, because a lot of games are advertised for kids and families and whatnot. But, like, you know, you have your mature games, like, oh, you know, this is for adults. So, like, the you know the occasional f bomb or a couple of curse words here and there it's like oh okay cool like this game means business but then when you have a character like this it's like oh f and this and f and that and oh, you know i'm just like just sounds so like you're being edgy just for the sake of being edgy and that that puts me off It's like a Goldilocks effect. Like, not too much, not too little, just the right amount of F-bombs. Like, we want PG-13 rating. You can only have so many. Okay, so we can get him the supplies. We can interrogate him. Let's ask him about this escort. What happened to the escort that was taking you to the world heart? Let me give you a clue. A lot of claws, a lot of teeth, a lot of blood. I was only just able to get away from them. Those warriors are now rotting somewhere out there, or deep in the bellies of the beasts that attacked us. Their sacrifice saved my life, but it just goes to show, Goliath orders people to do stupid things, and people die because of it. I want my freedom. You want your freedom to be an outlaw? About the world heart. Yeah. Oh my god, return to your work at the World Heart or I will kill you. Okay, here we go. See, it says Charisma 2 for this choice. Right there. See, right there it says. Um, where's my Charisma? All I see is, when I go into my stats, all I see is Personality. Let's try this. See, my skill level is too low. So, let's do this. Let's save that for, for now. Let's interrogate him. Let's go in for the, the kill. Zerker Ascor has been murdered. Ascor? How did that happen? Question the rock. Were you close to Goliath three months ago? No, I was out in the forest gathering supplies before I traveled out to the world hard. I've not been close to Goliath for a year. Once I had the supplies, I came straight out to Wabessa. Wait, you don't think I was involved, do you? New circumstantial evidence. Getting close. It's getting real spicy here. Do you have proof of where you were three months ago? I don't know. I don't keep a diary. Depends on the day and the orders. Sometimes I was digging shit alone, sometimes finding supplies alone, sometimes marching around and building stuff where they told me to. Those days I was with people. I just did whatever they said. I didn't want to be exiled to the valley. Did you know Ascor? Is it always raining in this game? <laughs> He'd have done anything for promotion. I feel like no matter what, it's sort that made raining nonstop. This. Fuck the berserkers. No matter the time of day or the geographical location. 
You don't seem happy as a cultivator. Did you ever think of seeking promotion? Man, I would have to be able to read first. You can't exactly climb the career ladder. Homie can't, can't read? read. Damn. Cold. That guy wanted to do everything to get promoted. He hated anyone else who could read, especially if they weren't born in Goliath. Now this right here, this angle has such an interesting there's like two particle effects you have like the rain coming down and then you have like the embers like slowly floating up there <laughs> what <laughs> how does that make sense what weapon do you use a sword i hate it that's another reason i want to join the outlaws i've got myself a gun but i want some real weapons i don't think you killed Ascor. shit what you thought i did that no way, I wouldn't have risked that, even though he was an asshole. All right, As you say, one more person off the list. I will get you the supplies you need. Why not do a fetch quest? Thank We're you. feeling nice today. Dried meat it's our and birthday. Packs, and I'll need water and some sort of a weapon if you think you can get them. The water and the meat, well, there should be a number of places you can find those. As for the weapon, well, there's a farm above here. There are some outlaws there that have taken the place over. They're bound to have a weapon that will let me fit in when I get to Tavar. About the supplies you need. Literacy is a constant global problem, it seems, like in games too. <laughs> At least in this game. It's funny, in Fallout, they don't really... They never really touch upon illiteracy that much as far as i can remember i don't remember any instances which is curious because you know i wonder how after an apocalyptic event you know how literate people would stay reading is cool reading is important i know i know cyber you know how much i love to read i have a problem with not i need to like read more like pieces of works like novels I'm, I'm so busy reading articles and internet comments and fan fix i don't know i made that last one up but i should read like literary classics and not internet posts so much, How much water do you want right eight full bottles should be enough eight bottles but just water not alcohol or anything right i don't even have water how much dried meat do you need I think a half dozen ration packs should do it. Okay, half dozen, that that's not bad. Down too much. I'd take less, but I'm not likely to find any food until I get to the fort, am I? Nah. Can I sell you a weapon? Can I sell you a weapon? No, no. I want to get a weapon from those outlaws. I'm sure if I get something from them... He wants the real them. deal. So, can you get me something from that farm? And make sure whatever you bring goes boom. If you want the supplies, I have to pay me. If you want me to get your supplies, you'll have to pay me. You can have every shard I've saved if it'll get me to Tavar. Get me the supplies, and they're yours. Ooh, I, I need those shards. Cool. I bet you there's something cool on top of that mountain. Uh, okay. So that was our last murder suspect. He has been cleared of suspicion. I believe that that leaves just the last. We've, we've talked to all five su suspects already. And from what I remember, I think only one of them still seems suspicious. That would be the alcoholic guard who deserted his post. Um, whoops. As soon as I'm done looting this area, we're going to head back and I'm going to finish up this quest. Hopefully we can level up, make some money, and uh, I can buy something that will help me. I've got a spear. More spears. This all seems to be ammo. Okay. Oh, is this a chest? I need to, like... Yes, it is. 
I need to become more familiar with how chests look in this game. Whoa, sunglasses. Shows enemies on your radar. I mean, I thought that... I thought that was a thing already. Scientist amulet. Plus one bookworm, plus two to crafting. But we lose our maximum health and armor. We're going to keep this for later. For the stats. Some junk to sell and more junk to sell. Not complaining there. I need every bit of money that I can get my little fingers on. Oh, there's more graves. Arcus and Raz. Just want to look over this cliff. Very interesting. I'm always curious to see how, you know, different video games and developers handle world boundaries. Oh, look at that chest right there. What is that? Nothing? Anything down there? Okay. This backpack is not bad at all. I heard... Oh, that's not a chest. They bamboozled me. Well, let's take a few of these items. Wow, I was so excited. I totally looked like a chest from the angle I was at. Dang it. Uh, but yeah, I was reading about complaints on this game prior to buying it. This was a little while ago now. But one of them was that the jetpack wasn't good. Like Someone was like, oh, it's a jetpack. It barely even works. Like I think it works totally fine for what it is. It's not supposed to be an infinite um, ascent. Like it's... I never assumed that it would take me everywhere. It would be simple. But I think I got the hang of it. It's pretty cool. I dig. I really want to go on top of that other mountain across the way, but I know I've got a bad feeling that there's uh, some enemies up there or something like that. I feel like this mountain won't be as bad because... ooh. That was close. I feel like I should have got hurt there. I was going to say, I feel like this mountain won't be as bad since there's a location smack dab on top of it. I feel like they wouldn't put too much, too many enemies right here along this wall. Right? That's my guess. So that's the dome. Not as big as I thought it was going to be. It looks a lot bigger from far away, honestly. I mean, it's pretty hefty. Don't get me wrong, but I thought it was going to be huge. I thought it was going to be at least twice this size. Wood, li wood lice me. Ugh. I wonder what this contraption is for. Ooh, oh baby, oh baby, oh no. <laughs> that was close. Alright, well, there's nothing on top of this little mountain. A 
I'll take a screenshot while I'm up here. Find ooh, this is a good view. I like this view. I'm on the very edge. The very edge of this cliff. Bear with me, folks. We're going to take a screenshot here. You know what? As long as we're going to be holding up the stream with this screenshot, I am going to take a short little break. I'm going to use the bathroom and also pour myself another little ginger drink. I'll be right back. Um, in the meantime, let's try this out. I've got this music, this, this waiting music setup I've been working on, made by yours truly. And I'm just going to play it and see how it uh, it reads on the uh, stream here. It's probably going to be really laggy since it's playing straight from the program and it's not an exported file, which would play a lot smoothly. Um, this would be this is running the program as it's playing. So we'll see how it goes. But enjoy. I'm going to be right back. And then we're going to take the screenshot and continue with more Elex. Okay. Thank you for sitting tight. We just threw a screenshot down. I've got a fresh beverage down as well. And um, figured I would um, show you all this little what we're working with here. 
It is... What's the company? Um, <laughs> Q. Apparently, it's a big Q. Q Mixers. Hibiscus Ginger Beer. It's a very small can. It's a good size if you're doing... If you want to just do like a quick um, mixed bevy, it's very nice. Um, I've been using like 12 ounce ginger ginger ales and ginger brews, and um, it can be a little frustrating because I'm not gonna, I'm not always gonna use the full 12 ounces. These are these are seven, so you know. It's um I think it's the perfect amount without you know diluting too much what you're going for. So it's cool. I'm a big fan of hibiscus. I recommend. Man, there was some really good ginger brew we were getting at the farmers market. I can't remember what the brand was though. If Cyber can remember, if if Cyber's still here, do you remember the brand of ginger brew that I was buying at the farmer's market last year? We haven't had much of any this year because, you know, farmer's markets aren't really a thing right now. About your friend Alvar. What about him? Where is he? He should be standing guard. How should I know? He comes and goes as he pleases. But if you're going to start looking for him... Try the tavern. Ask Oren, the tavern keeper. He could have seen Alvar. Right. I'm watching you. Don't do something stupid. <laughs> My God, I, I love that line. That's never gonna. That's never gonna get old to me. Yes, I do remember. It was good, says Cyber. You don't remember the brand, though, do you? It was great. It was a nice company. They had. A wide variety of flavors to choose from. My favorite, I think, was the mango or the pineapple was also extremely good. Those ones were just like it. The flavor fit perfectly with the ginger brew. It create a nice mixture. All the other ones are good, too, but I think... You know, there's a certain line where flavors stop blending together and they start clashing. Like they had like a blueberry one, I remember. I don't know if we tried that one, but just the thought of blueberry ginger. I don't I don't know. Windmill. Thank you. Windmill Ginger Brew. If you're looking for a decent company or I should say a decent ginger brew. I don't really know much about them as a company. They seemed um, pretty legit, like the real deal. I remember I was, when I found them, I was just like wandering around the the farmer's market, just kind of browsing. And this guy like stopped me and he's like, Hey, you like, you like ginger brew? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do. It was like the only guy that I stopped That's for. And he gave me a bunch of samples, which is cool. I mean, like, Those converters, the lives they destroyed. That's I'm sit on out of here. Oh, oh my god, that was close. I thought everybody got mad at me for stealing mugs. Hey guys, what's going on? Everybody just later. got up at the same time. Not now. This looks exactly like the Hunter Ranger that we're trying to butter up using this uh, quest. Do you still have them? There's a bunch of junk in here I can take. I'm going to utilize this while well, I can. I can but I'll stay with my own and that is it. Uh, I can see you, you know. But yeah, anyways, this guy gave me... He let me try every single <laughs> ginger brew. I wasn't sure if that was, like, a common thing for people to do or, or if I was being annoying, but he let me do it. I'm like, great, and I I bought, like, three or four bottles right there on the spot. Hey, that's against the law. I don't understand. Am I... Not now. You still have them? There's no indication that I'm stealing these items. 
of news from the fields. Right? You hear Yoris still looking for you know volunteers to go up to the converter? This Good is luck exactly to him. What I, was I don't know anyone who's going to risk that journey in a hurry. Well, I can, but... I'm going to take all these mugs and then that. sell them straight back to the bartender. Just get out of here. Do you still have them? Why is everyone getting so angry at me? I don't. Here, an outlaw's been spotted up around the main gate. I'm not stealing, am I? To tell me that today. Yeah, not one way. Do you know if Ragnar has sent out a search party? Yeah, this is such an awkward oh, yeah. space. Ragnar's always popping in here to let me know his plans. Treats me like a. No, even listen was there. That's the problem. <laughs> He's gonna fuck up. We all have to deal with. Don't mind me, guys. <laughs> don't let me interrupt your conversation there. I'm just. Taking a few mugs and uh, I'll uh, see myself out shortly. Bye. Run, run, run. You should put that away. Technology will get you into trouble here. Okay, now that I'm done looting, let's actually talk to somebody. If you're being serious, do you know a berserker named Alvar? Oh yeah. I know Alvar. That Taste testing is what it is. With friend Argor a few days ago. Those two drink harder than anyone I've seen drink for a long time. I haven't seen Alvar since. If you find him, oh. you tell him not to show his face in here again. Well, Do he's you know where Alvar could be. Whoa. No, and I don't a, want to. This is a bad angle. You could ask his drinking buddy Argor down at the pit. He's about the only one talking to Alvar these days. Tell me. Give me a drink. What will be? Give me something stiff, bartender. Food, 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 food. Potion, 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 potion. Plant, plant, plant. <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to stop doing that. Materials, trophies. I don't know if I should be selling trophies. They're not that valuable. I'll keep them for now. Unusable first aid kit. This med kit is really old. There's some useful equipment in it. Is it just junk then? That's what I don't. Wow. We are selling all the scraps, make, barely making any money. Wow, this casket's worth 40, though. That's good. Old world money. Toilet paper, luxury, and ass-based luxury. Wow. That's nice. <laughs> So all my cigarettes. These are all ammunitions. All right, let's see if we can buy anything worthwhile here. He does have water bottles, which I need eight of those. Just like in IRL during a pandemic, right? I know. Oh, yeah, sorry. I missed a couple of your comments. Cyber says they might be sold in some grocery stores. That's Windmill Ginger Brew we're talking about. But they're mainly at farmer's markets, and that's true. We haven't been to anything of that sort this year, sadly. I was planning on buying a case and getting it shipped, but that was right when the pandemic first started, and I was, like, really paranoid about anything. Like, I was literally like, ugh, if everything is going to shut down and we're going to be hurting for money maybe i shouldn't be dropping extra spending money on a case of ginger brew that i don't need but now i mean now we're kind of we're all doing fine everything's kind of stabilized so we'll talk about it later. i think that wouldn't be a bad idea maybe they'll think twice before raiding us again yeah i heard that too 
Oh, there's so many. Look at all this junk that I can take. Let's cook some meat. Got four pieces of fried meat. That sounds good to me. I wonder if there's a way to make jerky. Like, is there like a uh, a dehydrator or something? Always happy to trade. Whew, I'm almost tempted to sell the sword since I can't even use it. We'll sell the pants. We're going to keep all the amulets for now. All right, we have 500 buckaroonies. Oh, that reminds me, that's how much money I need to upgrade. Should I do it? Should I use a point? Should I use a skill point? It's not like most games where it's free. I literally have to pay for my skills. It's crazy to me. Highway robbery. Thief pants. I need to find a bed. I need to remember where the beds are in this town. I still haven't committed it to memory yet. Let's see. More like runaway robbery, right? Because we're not, not really going too fast here. It's more like a slow way robbery. Yeah, get that rat. Show him who's boss. I like the way he grunts. Ooh. Bonk. Okay, don't go around with your weapon drawn. We know how much everybody hates that. Did I invite you? Yes, you did. You forgot. Ooh. Spicy. It's right there in the throat. That's some strong ginger. Still don't know how to make potions either. I should probably look into that. Everything is forbidden in this household. No fun allowed here. Keep walking if you want something fun. What are you looking for here? Loot and or valuables. What is that? I want to check that out. I don't think I've even been anywhere near here yet.
Cauldrim. We have not spoken with Cauldrim yet. Let's see what he has to say in a moment. Whoa. Whoa, hey, it's like a Playboy Mansion grotto in here. All right, I like it. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> so random. What is it? Do I get hurt if I step inside? <laughs> Whoops. Oh my god. That's one way to try it out. Meanwhile, Calderm's just getting drunk over here. Thanks for the help, buddy. We appreciate you. Welcome to the Mana Shrine. Oh, this guy looks wasted. Have you been sent here with a task? Or are you here in search of a healer? I bet you he can teach us how to make now. potions. Or have you taken a vow of silence? Let's see. Hey, don't push your religion on me, buddy. Your healers here? Ah, well, you will find healers among us. But you will learn we also use the name for those who heal Magalan. Perhaps not Amric's best choice of name, but we're in the habit of using it now. We cure Magalan from the curse of Elix, and from that curse, we bring the blessing of mana. Don't try selling religion. Religion? That is for the clerics. I have no belief except that we should save our planet. This is the Mana Shrine, where Elix is turned from poison to nectar. One day, all Elix will come here, and Magalan will be free from its influence. Until then, we must contend with the danger here. The power released from Elix can make the Shrine a hazardous place. Please, be careful here. The power of Elix. Tell me, who are you? It seemed like you a very disjointed statement. Here. Something brought you here, didn't it? You were drawn to this place. I was an alb. I'm gonna tell him the truth. He seems like an okay now. guy. Then you are an alb no more. It is Elix that turns a man into an alb. Without that poison, oh, excuse me. <laughs> okay, forgot where you're going. You told me who you were. Now you, now oh shit, we'll find out who you are. Please That's got dire understand. implications for our story. Whatever you see that there? Are new to you. Wild. Every person faces that same struggle. It is the struggle Magellan suffers from too. She is dosed with Elix. She has it in her veins as you did. But Magellan does not suffer from temptation. <laughs> the music just drops in all of a sudden. Bones. The power it offers. Resist it. One sign of you giving in to the temptation of Elix, and I will be forced to report you. If this world gives in to Elix, it will consume us all. Well, there's a lot of dialogue choices here. That's, uh... I guess let's all sit back and listen. What do you do here? Let's all get a drink. Free Cheers. As I have already explained, I oversee the mana shrine here. As Amric said, our hope for Magalan is that all Elix shall become mana. That from mana Magalan will be reborn. From wasteland shall spring forest, for we are the healers of the world. So the workers bring the elix to us, and we transmute it at the mana shrine. Well, that is supposed to be what happens, but people don't seem able to stick to their tasks. How does mana help you cast magic? That we have yet to understand, though we do study it. Even now, Thorold the Pilgrim has withdrawn from Elix to study its mysteries in the hope we can grow stronger. Those who cast magic will tell you 
that while the elves lose their emotions closing off their minds, mana opens the mind, connects you and the world. This guy's talking pretty deeply here. I don't know if I can hang with him. I don't know if I can catch up here. <clears throat> Isn't mana addictive like Elix? It is the power of mana that is addictive, not the substance itself. You can see that in Goliath. We don't need mana like the Albs have to have their Elix. And we use a lot less. Most of the Elix we find is given to our seedlings. Mana puts our bodies and minds in harmony with the magic we use. For us, it is natural. The energy the Albs use in magic is torn from the world. It damages them, and it damages the world. So, how do you transform Elix? Transmute. We transmute Elix. We place the Elix in the mana shrine. There is something in this mountain, the way the rock was changed by the comet. As the Elix passes through, it is changed, purified into mana. If you bring anything that has been altered by Elix close to the shrine, you can feel it. I want to feel it. Are tasks. you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Yes. The biggest problem we have is temptation. Elix corrupts people as it does the planet. Last week, five large pieces of Elix disappeared from the shrine before it could be transmuted. At the same time as Krow, one of our guards. What could the thief use it for? I don't know. But Elix is food only for machines. Feed it to the plants and they become tainted. Feed it to a man and it drives out his emotion. It can kill his soul. Oh, like our one I friend? Crawl is the thief. But thinking is uncertainty. The searches for him and the Elix have come up empty. And I have no idea why he would take the Elix. I can find Kral for you, for a price. Honest labor deserves reward. I can put in a good word for you with the warlords. Then, if you decide to join us, that will open the way for you. If it is shards that would help motivate you, then I can offer you payment. I know we all need to pay our way in the world. You're telling so, me. Will you Especially in me? these trying times. Maybe. Where would I need to start looking for Kral? Well, that is the question, isn't it? The guards tried Ragnar's stronghold at the top of Goliath. Kral spent a lot of time up there, sitting out on the main balcony. He's a thinker. While the guards might have been there already, they aren't the best of investigators. Maybe you will have more fortune if you look there. Another quest, baby. Pile them on. How many you got back there? You got more? Give me some more quests. You're comfortable with an alb living in Goliath? An alb is a man who has become a slave to Elix. It seems to me that you have freed yourself. That makes you a rare individual. Still, you are wise to be wary. There are those here who would kill you if they learn your background. But... Though it is not one of our written laws, it is central to our beliefs, and to me, that we should give all those who want it a second chance. If you are prepared to leave your past behind, you should be given a chance. Are you willing to do this? What are the laws? The laws were laid down by Amrak when he founded the Berserkers, but what matters is the spirit of the law. Protect Magellan. That is what Amrik truly intended when he founded the Berserkers. Whatever words and interpretations have been added to Amrik's words, it is Magellan's future that counts above all. What do you do with the mana? Our mana is everything. It is life itself. It is mana that allows us to do magic. No other faction of the free people can do that. The mana potions we make give us that ability. It makes our warriors stronger 
more powerful than any of the Alms machines. But it doesn't just make us strong, it also makes the world blossom. Look around. All of this is the work of our world hearts. World hearts? World hearts are the center of everything we do. The heart of the berserkers. They are plants we enrich with mana. They bring the soil back to life. Will you trade me some mana for Helix? Gladly. What goods have you got? Sure. <laughs> That's not an answer to the question. Sure. What What have you got? Sure. Yes. What do you have for sale, sir? Yes. Makes zero sense. And I'd be surprised if I actually acquired anything to sell in the five minutes it took me to walk up to this hill. <clears throat> we got some crafting schematics, though. That's pretty cool. Ooh. So much reading, sorry. So I can create a charisma amulet, but it costs a lot of money. So... Let's leave that alone for now. Let's see if there's anything interesting up here we can explore. It still really blows my mind how vertical this game is. It's awesome. Like, I know Skyrim tries to push its verticality, especially with Whiterun. In a sense, I feel like all the citizens are like, Oh, the clouds plain, the plains district, the the wind district. It's like, it's not even that big of a city, guys. This, this right here is what I imagined. When people talk about the different districts in Skyrim, I imagine something of this scale. Like, oh yeah, have you been to the clouds district? It's really friggin' far away from the entrance. Like, I'm sure you haven't, because... Oh, shit. I did not mean to steal that. So I have 505. Let's take this. Natural Elex received. I still have 505. Natural Elex, Alps consume it for strength and to reach the next level of evolution. Mana. Can be used to create mana potions with the right training. Okay. Is there just random Elix falling down? Are there like shards that just fall? Wow. Districts like Hunger Games? Is that who they stole it from? Skyrim? <laughs> Maybe. Honestly, I don't know which came first, Skyrim or the Hunger Games books. But yes, there are districts in Pan America. Not as small as the districts of Skyrim. Or not Skyrim, I should say. I was talking about the districts in Whiterun specifically if we're talking about something similar a more apt comparison would be the holds of Skyrim there's nine holds in Skyrim similar to how there are 14 districts in Pan America don't mind me just stealing uh, whatever elix I can find I'm going to crouch literally two inches to avoid being seen. See, look look at this. Detected, undetected. Detected, undetected. This game is beautiful. 
Can you believe it? I sure can't. Okay, so yeah, there is a difference between natural elex and refined elex. Seems like I have to do an extra step with the natural elix to utilize it as a currency. I wonder if I can drop it in the pool. Because the guy was just saying how... Uh, what was he just saying? They transform... Elix to mana by dropping it in the pool. I'm gonna fix my quick menu real quick. <laughs> Thank you for the sick joke, Cyber. Your contribution is always appreciated here. Okay, so. Replenishes mental energy. I don't understand what my mental energy is yet. I didn't realize that that was a... Excuse me, that was a... Um, factor here. No chems. I do have food. I'm trying to figure out what... Oh, okay, cool. So I can actually use the plants by themselves, or I could utilize them in a potion. Probably going to wait to do the second option. Oh, I need to put some gear on. That's what I need to do. I do have the amulet on. This, this is what I wanted to equip. The sunglasses. Aww, yeah, look at our boy. Look at Jax. Look at our boy Jax. Rocking these fresh sunglasses. Oh my god, he's the coolest guy. He literally went from zero to hero with one pair of sunglasses. I'm going to screenshot this. Bear with me, chat. Okay, we got it in the books. I can't wait to spam all of these screenshots in our Discord. It's going to be beautiful. Phone's going off. Such a popular fellow today. All right, let's finish this quest before we do any other exploring. Let's get one thing accomplished to get today, right? That's what I think. Oh, I have been up here. I remember this area. I just didn't really explore further up into the compound. Duress. Oh my god. I think I thought Duress and Drog were the same dude this episode? Excuse me? <laughs> How rude. You should talk to someone else. I can't help you. I would like to know how to make potions. I think that would really come in handy. You should think about leaving. 
don't have any time right now. I'm watching. You'd better not try anything. Just doing some exploring, maybe a little bit of light looting here and there. Nothing to worry about. I also like how he touches the wall when you get close. Like, watch. He kind of, like, slides his hand along. I feel like that's such a little kid thing to do. Like, you're just walking, you're just, like, like fucking flailing your arms everywhere and touching everything that you can. I mean, at least that's how I acted when I was a kid. I don't know about you guys. Cormag. He seems important. Alright, I don't know if I have it in me to go through an entire menu's worth of dialogue. So, let's just finish this quest. You think we'd make a good team, Duris? Do you think we make a good team, Duris? We're a team. I'm ready if you are. <laughs> Doesn't answer my question at all. Here, I want to use this command. I set it up last time. Okay. I just asked the magic conch if Duris is our friend. Uh, the magic conch speaks. Sources say no. So, <laughs> you are lying, Duris. You are not our friend. The least you could do is be real with us. About as you don't have to sugarcoat everything. Oh my god, look at all this text. Let's see here. So, we can point the finger at Baron. We can clear Thorgal, Garen, Eirdor, and the rock. Whoa, 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 whoa. So this last dialogue option says, Durus recently became a warrior and that him and Asker were both eligible to be paladins. Is there an implication here? Are we suspecting Durus? Of taking out Ascor because he wanted to be a paladin instead of Ascor? Up, oh, hello, excuse me, miss. I'm conducting an investigation here. I even put on my fancy detective glasses, can't you see? How rude. Alright, let's work our way down the list. I don't think Baron did it. Ascor was his friend. Baron just wants to be left alone. I don't see why he'd murder anyone. Alright. Even though he knew Ascor better than most, yeah, you're right. He doesn't have the energy or the motive. Frankly, I only think Ragnar wanted Baron questioned in case he had seen anything. It looks like he didn't. Let's take him off the list for now. Okay, let's clear Thorgal. Thorgal wasn't anywhere near Thorgal. At the time of the murder. What a gal. He witnesses to prove it. <sighs> yeah. He's also too skilled a fighter to have left Ascor such a bloody mess. So, he's out as a suspect. Garen, that's our friend. He just wants to hunt. We're going to clear him because I need him to teach me how to shoot a bow. Garen just wants to hunt. He didn't like Ascor, but I don't think he killed him. Besides, if he had killed Ascor... Ooh, Duris likes us. Just, not a sword. Yeah, all Garen wants is to hunt. He'd have no motive for this. It's not conclusive, but I don't think it was him. I agree. I don't think it was him either. Let's take him off the list. Wait, do we are we clearing everyone? What about the um What about the drunken guard that left his post? I thought he was the most suspicious one. I'm I'm so confused here. I don't know anyone's name. Oh well, let's just keep Your going. didn't have time to commit a murder. He's tending to the world hard and looking after supplies. Besides, he's just too weak to have killed Ascor in the way you described. Yes, I agree. I don't think Irdor was capable of this. That's one less suspect for us. 
We're going to clear the rock because he's such an electrifying entertainer. Rock wasn't anywhere near Goliath when the murder was committed. He didn't like Ascor, but I don't think he could have done it. I'd say Ooh. he didn't kill Ascor. Duris admires us. I didn't us. think he would have the opportunity, but Ragnar insisted I'd look into him. I guess Ragnar was wrong. You recently became a warrior, didn't you? You and Ascor are both eligible to be paladins. What's going to happen? Yes, but trust me, I'm happier with my job collecting waifs and strays than becoming a paladin and going out to the front lines. I think I'm making more of a difference doing what I'm doing. Ascor, though, was a driven man. Becoming a paladin was all he wanted. You were right. The investigation was a waste of time. It must have been someone outside. Gosh. All of his suspects are innocent. It's Ragnar we'll have to convince. He is certain one of them did it. He's not often wrong. Then who do you think it was? I don't know. Then tell Ragnar that. What about Baron? Right, yeah, Baron. Alibi, did he? Yes, that's the guy. You... <laughs> Just totally ignores question. Do you want to be my friend, Duras? Here, I'm going to ask Conch one more time. <laughs> Magic Conch says very doubtful still, so... All right. Oh, it looks like we can ask him to follow us now. That changed. That's new. There was no one there to say he was at his post. And of all the suspects, he knew Ascor the best. And it must be him. The others all have alibis. And Baron knew Ascor better than the others. I thought you said Ragnar only included Baron in case he saw something. Ragnar wants answers. He's insisting the murderer is found. Question everyone, and Baron's the only one without a decent alibi. Do you know where Baron is? I found him in the forest, but he said he takes time off to go to the lift into the Valley of the Damned. Then we should go there and see what we find. You want me to come with you? What do you think we'll find there? Why would Baron ask about that place if he had something to hide? What do you think we'll find there? Who knows? But we don't have any evidence so far, so it feels like we should check this clue out. At least so we can tell Ragnar that we did. Why would Baron talk about that place if he had something to hide? Since when have criminals been clever? And Baron's not that smart. Maybe he just let something slip. did it what other leads do we have look let's just check this out and then we'll know for sure all right i'll search the area near the lift that baron talked about what is it i'm looking for we won't know until we find it have a look around bring me anything you find just don't interfere with it what do you mean interfere bring anything you find to me without disturbing it whatever you find we should take it to ragnar then you know what it is no, I just... I'm warning you. Do what I say. Duris is acting very sus right now. Me. Your life might depend on it. Do you think we make a good team, Duris? Two experienced warriors like us? I feel like there is nothing we cannot do. Ooh, he likes us now. I could use your help. I could use your help. Then you have it. You think you can keep up with me? Nice. We did a, we did a mission. Sometimes. I know. I have one that I haven't taken to the pit yet. Can you use it, though? You are a berserker. Yeah, sometimes rules can be bent. I'll deal with any trouble. Then let's go. There's an abandoned camp in some ruins to the west of Goliath. You can meet me there. You lead, I'll follow. The berserkers have held the Alps what? back with bravery and magic. This fight will call upon those qualities. Can I help you with something, person? No, oh, no, just walking through. All right. Follow me. Yeah. All right, Duress. We got our first companion. Hell yeah. That's a big accomplishment for our stream today. Let's take a let's take a nice screenshot with me and Duress. 
over here in front of the mountain vista. Come on, Duras, don't be shy. Duras, come over here. For the photo op, come on. Close enough. Let's do the screenshot. Bear with us, everybody. Cool. We got it in the books. Our first companion, Duras. First official voluntary companion. He was our companion in the very beginning of the game just because he was programmed to do that. <laughs> just because the game told him to. But now... He's voluntarily following us and offering his sword. Now, this is what I was confused by. So, my character asked him. Jax asked Duras to follow him, right? Duras says, all right, that sounds good. Then Jax says, there's some ruins to the west of here. Why don't you meet me there? Like, as if he just, just did not ask Duras to follow him. And then Duras goes, All right, sweet, I'll follow you there. <laughs> what? That makes zero sense at all. Hey, do you want to follow me? Yeah, sure. All right, cool. Why don't you meet me by that supermarket? All right, cool, I'll follow you there. Like, <laughs> what? The weirdest, most confusing exchange yet out of so many confusing exchanges in this game. Um, let's see what our quest is looking like. I don't know if we completed that quest. <sighs> let's, let's find a let's let's uh, let's set ourselves up for success, and then we're gonna call it a decent stream for today. That was a good amount of time. Okay, we're gonna ignore the main missions for now. So we're doing light into darkness. I don't remember finding this half detective tin can quest. Law of the Berserkers. Elixir for the mana shrine. Okay. Oh, Drog wants some beer. Let's do that for let's do that now. So here's the lift or elevator that they were talking about, this marker here. Meanwhile I mean I have beer, right? I could have swore I had some beer. I have wine. I have wine. I have no beer. Let's get beer for Duras at the tavern. We're going to bring it back to him. We're going to finish the quest. Then we're going to set ourselves up for the next quest. <clears throat> we eliminate... I want to see Duras using his jetpack. Damn technology. Take it to the pit. Well, it seems like he only uses it like if he has to in order to keep up with us. Here, let's do this. Whoa! That is so cool! That is awesome! I love that they made that a thing. Like, of course, your character has this wild, out-there mobility, you know, like, almost incomparable, incomparable um, ability to move around. So, like, why wouldn't your companion also do the same thing? And even though it doesn't make sense story-wise, like, 
this guy isn't allowed to use technology. He's like, you know, I'll, I'll deal with the consequences. If anybody says anything to me, I'll just tell him tell to me. screw it. I need a drink. a drink. I need a drink fast. Okay, it only costs 10. That's good. 51. I want 51 beers. 51 bottles of beer on the wall. Is there any junk that I can sell? I don't think so. Oof. Oops. I'll meet you again later on. Do I have the beer? I don't know. I do. I've got the beer. We got the beer. Let's go to Drog. Let's give Drog his grog and call it a good snog. Ooh, I don't want to snog with Drog. I'll take it back. No snogging. Just drogging and grogging. Drog, buddy. Long time no see. How you been doing? I brought you some beer. I brought your beer. Ah, that's what I need. Beer given. Well, time too. And so here we have those sunglasses. My reward. Your reward was getting in through that gate. Be grateful. Letting people in is your job. Yeah, tell them, Jax. People out. I give the word, and you'll never get in here. What a dick. So much for the honor of berserkers. Oh my god. I really need to upgrade something here. Uh, I don't know. How about you pay me and give your word? Are you looking for a fight? Because you've got one. Oh my god. <laughs> He's gonna kill us. And we're dead. <laughs> that was instant. Oh. No, he just left us near death. There. What happened to that big mouth of yours? Swollen shut now, is it? Okay, well, that was cool. At least we got some XP out of it, but he totally kicked our butt. That was not fun. And what are you doing? Oh, look, it's Drog's chest, but it's empty. Dang. I'm ready to loot that. Loot that box, silly. Oof. Oy. That was a bad. That was a bad camera angle. All right, cool. Let's head out of town. Let's blow this popsicle stand. We're going to set up shop next to the teleporter here. I'm going to take a look at the map. Oh, here's another thing I wanted to make a comment on. So, looking at the map, I noticed earlier, there's no real sense of topography. I mean, there is... But it's very, very, it's not as clear as it could be, I think. Yeah, I think you really have to sort of focus in and see. Maybe, I mean, maybe that's what the game wants you to do. Maybe they want it to be sort of a puzzle to figure out, looking at the map and ascertaining which elevations places are. Seems to be the darker locations are lower. These more highlighted areas are higher up in elevation. There's like a whole lake back here. I haven't even explored any of that. But anyways, just to finish off that thought, I think it would be a little bit more obvious um, to show elevation through the map here. I think they could have done a little bit better. Um, Skyrim kind of solves it by having a real world like map. It's like almost a miniature version of the overworld that you see when you look at the map. So it's like all, you can see all the mountains and all the hills that you have to walk over. That's nice. 
it would be cool if they took away all the clouds from Skyrim, though. <clears throat> I mean, just in terms of the map view. That does get aggravating after a while. And then Zelda, to bring that game up once more this stream, um, Breath of the Wild sort of handles it by having a much simpler kind of map. There's not as much color or detail. It's not as uh, saturated as this. Um, and it has very, very clear sort of topographical markings, almost like a like a specifically made topographic map. And that gets the job done, too. I feel like they could have done something similar to that in this game. That's all I wanted to... I just wanted to share that before, before signing off for the night. But here you have it. Duris and Jax, the new, new duo. We're going to save our game. Nine days. Almost at seven hours in this playthrough. Nine days of in-game time. Most of those nine days has been spent sleeping off the flesh wounds that I seem to accumulate traveling across this world. But next time we're gonna we're gonna do more progress. Today we made a lot of progress. We found a new um, teleporter that we can fast travel to and from. That'll come in handy. Um, we also have a new companion. We did. The initial stage of that murder mystery quest and now we're on to the second stage which is to confront the murderer and we made a little bit more money we have enough money to level up one of our skills so next time we're probably gonna do that as well I have to try to figure out where that um, ranger archer fellow went and um, Pay him to teach us something. But until then, thank you everybody for watching. We love you. Thank you for everyone dropping into chat, wishing me a happy birthday. It's been a pretty cool day so far. A little unconventional, but you know, we make the best with what we got here. And thank you again, everybody, and good night.